the off-label marketing is where they're coming, is where the government has put its focus over the last couple of years. Uh, the antidepressant and antipsychotic and antineurological type medicines are, I don't want to say an easy mark, but that's where the companies are making their money now. They can market these, which are limited for indications, bipolar, schizophrenia, and then they can limit them for everything from headaches to ADHD for kids to sleep aids. So mm -hmm. it's a big money product, all blockbuster drugs, and uh, that's where the government's looking. But the gist of it is that these are blockbuster drugs that the government knows if it walks like a duck, it looks like a duck, it is a duck. If they are off-label marketing, whatever they're doing wrong is leading eventually to a false claim because those doctors and those physicians and those hospitals are out there using the drug where they shouldn't be. So the Medicare, Medicaid, whatever it is, is paying money. And the way to get at it is the way to the pharmaceutical companies get those prescriptions written is to off-label market and promote the drug for a reason it shouldn't be. And it pays, you know, if you have a $30 billion drug and you're paying a billion dollar in fine over 10 years, that's a pretty good deal.